played for you. <laughs> you were not. Yes, I was. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are getting started on our project for today, which is glazing the windows, and Christina's going to talk to you about it a little bit. Yeah, so this part of the process, we have to find like a good time to do it because it's like bang, bang, bang. You have to do the whole thing at one time. So we finally have our linseed oil putty for uh, the rabbits here. And so compared to the other putty that we had, which is solid and <laughs> just hard, this putty is obviously a lot better. So uh, I took out just a chunk. I've massaged it in my hands. It's very warm now. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to fill all these holes that we have in the window. So holes like this. I'm going to fill all the rabbits. We're going to put the glass in and then we will immediately paint. So it's like you just gotta, you just gotta go, 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 go. So that is what we're going to do for these bigger holes like this. I'm just going to stuff it in with my finger. And again, you know, Ours is not to, these are reclaimed windows. We're not gonna try to get them perfect, perfect. Um, we are just gonna try to smooth things out a little bit and make it easier to paint. Um, and I will come back with the putty knife and make sure it gets to a place where it's like smooth and paintable. All right, so I probably need to add more, more putty to that. And then for the smaller holes like there's tiny little holes here again just do the same thing and i'm going to make sure that's all evened out because i have to come back over with it with the paint it's not like you can sand it right i mean you can wait and sand it but that take forever it does take a really long time this uh putty doesn't dry very quickly so if you have if you leave it to dry then you're going to be waiting weeks and weeks so yeah, it took in the summertime last year, their old windows, it took three solid weeks, right? Just to clarify, it was the putty that took three weeks to dry. So we hung the windows, we brought them over. There on a few of them, there's actually a couple of my little nit prints on the actual putty of some of these windows because it, it didn't dry in the, I think like 10 to 14 days that we had them at her dad's garage. So, um, and that was in the middle of summer. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, it takes, it takes a long time for like the paint to dry too, cause it's oil-based paint. Um, and it was very humid in the summer. So you wanna try to see if you can get it to a place where you can just paint it now. Um, the directions on the putty say that it will form a skin, but I think that says it takes several weeks to do that. And so the directions from Earth and Flax, who we get this from, say that it should be painted immediately. And that's how she does her window restoration and that's how we did ours last year. Um, so we just need to get it to a place where it is going to be paintable. And again, this is a, win a sash window. So that's why like you see some of the the detail here, like the imperfections here, it's because it was like a window that was like this one right on top of each other. But we're using those individual window panes that will swing open, just like the windows upstairs. So, I should be able to fill this in. So I'm gonna just keep fussing with the holes I'm filling until I'm happy with what is going to be painted. So just might take a little bit of time to get exactly the way that you want it. Um, so I'm just gonna be working with those. And then after you fill all the holes, um, you can go in and what this is really for is to go in and fill all these rabbits for the windows and how people can do it a lot of different ways. You know, how I, how I do it is I'm just going to squish it in with my hand and just fill the rabbits 
up with the putty. I guess I'm doing it mostly with my thumb. So just going ahead and just squishing it in, using my thumb, my hand so that it gets filled and then the glass will go right in there. So then we filled in the holes. So if you go ahead and take a look, just fuss with them a little bit. I think those are gonna paint up fine or fine for us. <laughs> There's some like hairline cracks here that I just filled in a little bit, but you know, just spend a little bit of time on it, not too much time. I mean, again, it's a rustic cabin, so we can go for it. And now going to fill the, gonna fill the rabbits for the glass and you have to keep your windows straight and you have to keep your glass straight because we want to put all the glass pieces back exactly where we film them. So we have them all labeled and then we have the window labeled so we know which window is which. And there's no putty here because this is actually a slit for the glass to go in. So we won't have any putty for the glass piece to set in there, but we will have putty on the outside of the glass that we will paint over that will keep the glass in place. So I just need to get a little bit more. You can see when it comes right out, it's like very, it's much stiffer. So just take a second and just warm it up. And then it gets, that was almost too warm. So it's kind of like sticking to everything, but you just warm it up so you can put it into place. So now we have all the putty in. We have the holes on the side puttied, we have the glass in. It's all been cleaned out of the rabbits on this side. And then it comes through the other side, so I cleaned all that out too. 
and we're good to go in and fix the glass in permanently. So we use these little pieces and we also use pieces of just like regular matches to push down in the open spaces so that the glass like doesn't move. That's in there. And I'm gonna try to put most of the match pieces on these sides so that they're up against this like more fragile piece of wood, the dividing piece. I'm sure that has a name, can't think of it right now. Because I don't like putting the metal pieces on these parts just because they're a little bit too fragile now because they're kind of old. So I'm just gonna try to push the glass over a little bit and then make room. And if your glass is cut perfectly and it doesn't need to be any more snug, then obviously you can skip this step. But ours are old. And so it's nice to give them that extra bit of support. And so this tool is what we use to put these in. They fit perfectly just in like this. And I'm just gonna do One here and then one here, so just on the larger pieces of wood. And so there is a slit here for the glass, so that does not need one of these to hold it in. So now the window is all in where it should be. There's some squish out here because of the matches, so I'll clean that up. And then we'll putty in the window, and then we'll paint it. All right, I'm manning the Alma station. I think Christine a little Alma here. Okay, I got everything in there. So the secrets, my main secrets are a little bit of raw milk into the eggs and a pat of butter right on top of the mushrooms. Here we go. And voila, the omelet is served. Oh, I always do this. I always forget to give Christina a fork. It doesn't matter what it is. I always forget. Okay. Up we go. So I get that I get the raw milk is going to be a controversial issue for a pregnant woman to be having. Uh, I will note that I just put it into an omelet that got cooked, so it will be have been heated. But you know, I get that that is the common advice is that you shouldn't consume raw products. And um, I have a counter argument, and that is that we own a share of the cow that we get our milk from. And we know and trust the people that produce our milk. It's happening local, it's very fresh, and uh, it's, it's delicious, very healthy. And right now it's important for Christina to be getting healthy fats into her diet um, where, whenever and wherever we can. So uh, the Pasteurization process often overheats the milk, it denatures the fats, and renders it a dead product. This is a live product with live bacterial cultures in it, all in balance with each other. It's known to interact really, really well with the human gut, and both of us uh, really respond very well to it. So we're gonna roll with it, and, uh, and it's, I think, in our opinion, a very healthy thing to do. I'll probably be starting this for like at least 20 minutes. Oh, really?
<laughs> lamps are here. The lamps are here. And is that the Amazon stuff? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna be so fancy. So fancy. This is great. So I kept getting texts being like, they're on their way, they're on their way. I was like, oh, they're gonna come today. And they're already oh, nice. here. This is all our bedside table stuff. Uh, da -da -da. Look, remotes. Do -do -do -do. Maybe, hopefully they were. All right. Are they heavy? No. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I'm gonna ask you. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I was gonna ask you. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think it was cool. I mean, look, it goes well off the rug. Right? Yeah, yeah. It does look like it goes well off the rug. All right. The rest of the day kind of got away from us, so uh, we're just gonna say good night, and we will see you tomorrow.